hello guys welcome to my channel hope you all are doing great today i got this one question to ask is it advisable for african men to go back to africa married um, women from africa and bring them in the diaspora is it advisable maybe you will let me know at the comment section after watching uh, this video so i bring to you a story it's a nigerian couple so this nigerian man has been thrown out of the house here in the uk by his wife the wife says the relationship is over and this man is saying that he got married to this lady brought this lady in the uk and made this lady what she is today today the lady is a nurse that uh, thanks to him and the, this is how the lady is paying him back today that the lady is throwing away his stuff so i'll play the video later on so you can watch you see what i'm saying i'm not just saying it it's something that is real it happens here in the uk so i'll play the video and you watch you see for yourself so we don't actually know what happened at the moment yeah we don't know what happened but from the video the ladies has packed the guys um, the guy the husband's stuff and is asking the husband to leave the house that he no longer wants the husband the lost husband should go don't think this is africa that men have the world and to themselves this is europe so i don't want you anymore so i'll leave you guys to watch the video and see for yourself what I'm talking about. Now, let me settle myself first now. If you, if you video me, if you record me, no, I'll video you, sir. You will not tell the police I touch you. It's so what you always do. I will call the police. It's very wrong of you. Yes, I'm letting you know this. Just two years, just two years that you came to Europe, you can behave like this. Yes, it's two guys, years. Guys, guys, be careful of the kind of woman you marry yes. and bring abroad. Yes, also guys, be careful. Be careful. You to no, you will talk to me like this today. I trained you. I trained you to become a nurse. It's you are a nurse in the UK today because of me. Guys, guys, invest in yourself. No, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to take it to court. I know it's a woman's word here in Europe. I'm going to win. I don't know what you're talking about. You're okay, give me house. time. Give me time. Yes, Let me. No, you don't have time. Guys, I, no, I, I pay my time. rent in this house. Yes. I pay the rent in this house, guys. You guys, I, honey, as I pay, <laughs> guys, be careful, honey. Don't worry. You don't don't worry. Time. God is going to judge you. I will live for you. I will live for you. This is not Africa. I have to let you know this is not Africa. What you have and what you deserve. Guys, this, is listen, yes. is this is a woman who came, who came, who came yes. to, to the UK two years ago when Don't she was nothing. Don't record me again. She was nothing. Yeah. I trained her. She is nurse today. Honey, you are a nurse today because of me. Yes, it's not, it's not my business. I'll go. I'll go. Give, give me my bag. I'll go. Give me. Yeah. Give me. Give me. No, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. No, we need to go out. We need to go out. We need to go out. Well. She, arranged, uh, she arranged my things at night. I didn't even know she was arranging my things. I came back from shift. Uh, I worked last night. I came back this morning just to talk to her about what we had yesterday. My things are here already. She sent it outside in my own house to sue her. She claims I beat her. She claims all because I tried to correct her. All because I correct her. When she came, she was so humble. I trained her. So guys i hope you watched the video you've seen for yourself but it doesn't end here after watching this video it reminded me it took me back to another video i watched um, last week concerning one other um, nigerian man who was talking about um advising african men to stop bringing women from africa that if they are here in Europe, they should get married here. That this is where they live. They have been living their life. That you can't stay in Europe for many years. That you already used to the place. And you go back to Africa. That you left Africa for many years. And you don't even know the women there. The women don't even know you more that much. You go back to get married to women back in Africa. That they should stop. Because... Um, it's, um, it has proven that most of the time, the men that go to Africa to get married, when they bring the ladies here, the ladies like turn up, start maltreating them and the relationship because they get married to them, not because of true love. It's just because they want to come over. So he was trying to say, so when I watched this video, it made me 
to think about what was that guy actually right so what um i'm trying to say is i don't know if that guy is actually right so but i will put the video after this as well for you to watch and listen to what he's saying as well so after watching the video at the end of this video i would like you people to comment and let me know what you think about the two videos like the one that the lady is trained out asking the husband to go out of the house the relationship has ended and this other video that this our brother is saying that he's advising african men to stop bringing uh, women from africa that they should get married here if they are here they should get married here so i would like you i'll leave you to watch this video as well then we we'll comment um at the comment section and let me know what you think about um, the uh, both uh, videos what you think about is it okay for african men to keep bringing women from africa or is it okay for them to look for wives there and get married to them here so you let me know please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet hit the notification button so that when i upload a video you'll be notified and please do share my videos thank you again very much and i will see you in my next video bye bye now let me renew your mindset on a particular factor that is causing high rate of divorce a high rate of single modernism both in the uk especially in london in europe at large and in america now listen and get it straight how will somebody travel from africa be it nigeria for example you travel from africa and you go any part of the europe because of the way you travel you go there you are stuck now you are wanting to get through your paper problems most of us here it will take us 15 years to fix that paper problem residency problem most of us is going to take us 20 years for you to be legal in the country you are now you have left a country in africa for about 15 years for about 20 years now you've lost the tie if when you were living you had a girlfriend you were proposing to marry do you think she was going to be waiting for you for 20 years and 15 years no it's not going to happen now you must have left that relationship you had back home before you traveled abroad for about 15 years 20 years now you have no ties back home you don't even know people people who are home to marry you don't know now you don't even know who is the right wife for you to marry because you've lost contact, you've lost ties. You don't even know who is the wife material. You don't even know the woman who is compatible to you, you know, to, to form a good marriage life. You don't know that anymore. Now, maybe some of us that came here, uh, we need to do some marriage here. So I marry some, some people here. Uh, maybe you have the no notion that after the marriage, you are going to leave the marriage, you are marrying for paper and all that. Then it takes you up to 15, 20 years to go through all that process. And um, before you divorce the one you marry in Europe. Then the next thing after divorcing your Europe wife, then you are calling your people at home in Africa. They should look for a wife for you. <laughs> ah, you want to marry after 20 years, after 25 years in Europe. And now we are even looking at your time. You are clocking to 60, 58. You tell them to go and look for somebody who is 22 years in Nigeria for you to marry. <laughs> hey, well, I don't know where this problem they come from. Now, let me tell you where the problem comes from. You are 60 years in Europe. You have made money, we believe. Now, where the problem comes from is that you want to marry the real wife. You want to marry your village wife that you feel that you are now close. <laughs> you, don't know, you don't know before that you are supposed to marry her before. It is now that you have, you have residence, you have citizenship, you remember village wife. That now you are calling your village people uh, who do not know how you behave in Europe. Who do not know how Europe and America have even structured your life recently. You tell them to go and look for 22 years old in the village so that you marry her and bring her to London. You marry her and bring her to Germany. You marry her and bring her to Italy. You marry her and bring her to America. And you think that girl that agrees that she was going to marry you at the age of 22 while you are 60 is doing that with clear eye. She is doing that without any ulterior motive. <laughs> you, you, you know well. Go and marry her. Come. And then you are 60, I will guarantee you you are going to bring another man's wife to Europe, not your wife. Let me tell you something, that lady and that girl is only going to use you as a transport means to Europe. 
to America. They are going to use you just to go to Germany. They are going to use you just to go to UK and America. Nothing else. You are just a transport means. They know where they are looking for. At this point, they are not marrying you because of love. To start with, they don't even know you. To start with, the age difference is too large. It's too much. If they are agreed to marry you, they are agreed to marry you, one, because of the money you've made in the Europe. Two, because they want to leave Africa and come to Europe through you as a, as a channel of transport. Full stop. So when they come to Europe because you are a citizen, or when they get to America because you are a citizen, they born one child for you. With that child they are giving birth to, that child automatically is a citizen because the father is a citizen. Then when she realizes that that child is a citizen, they don't go right to family life. That guy you brought will never leave that country again. Automatically, she's indirectly a citizen. Because they are not going to tell her to go and leave the child who is a citizen in that country. So there's a ties now between herself and the child, which is right to family life. So when she noticed that, especially if that you are, if that you are, if that your wife knows how to mingle with single mother in that area, the single mother will give her sense. They will tell her how to run the whole process. They will run the whole process, then they will divorce you. Why? The marriage you made was not built on relationship. You see, you are, you are in a country for, for 17 years. You are in a country for 25 years. And you are already old. You are telling them to go out. You want to marry 22 years old from your, from your village. They don't know you. You don't know them. How are you going to marry that marriage? How you going, even the one that, that, that had good relationship. Marriage these days, now that even have relationship, even at their young age, and they married. is still shaking, let alone the one. They don't even know you, don't know them, until they are 22, they are 27, they are 25. You are 60, you want to go and marry them. How is not going to shake? Well, there's no, there's no relationship before the marriage. There's no relationship, there's no courtship. She just follow you because she wants to leave the, 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 the hot atmosphere of Africa. That's all. She just used you as a means of transportation. You have just been duped. You have just been used as a man. They don't use you. Onyali eligiya, eligogi go go. Secondly, that marriage is not built on love. The girl didn't love you. But that marriage was built on the basis that the girl wants to run away from Africa through you. It is rare, it is very rare in my own opinion, I might be wrong, to see a 22 years old African happily wanting to marry a 60, a 62 years old man. It is, it is, it is not balanced. So if you see, for example, a Nigerian girl wanting to marry a 60 years old Nigerian man, there is something behind that marriage. Uh, the guy, the guy has what is called ulterior motive. He got something for mind. There is a personal interest that made that girl to do that, not with clear eye. Did you know the inside? But she has what he want to achieve, either in the short run, in the middle run, or in the long run. So most of these men, when they for Europe, when you don't finish sorting out your paper thing, how you take sort out whether that by marriage uh, for here, when you don't marry here, born here, finish, uh, you still go one, you want to see the, see the go marry from Africa. I don't know why you are still wanting to go and marry from Africa. If you already marry where you are, marriage is marriage. No matter who you marry, you marry white, you marry pink, you marry ink, you marry purple, you marry blue, you marry green, marriage is marriage and everybody is equal at. Woman is woman. There's no difference. If you have married anybody, you marry a European, you marry an Asia, you marry a black, any country you are, why are you wanting to divorce and go and marry the second one from your hometown? Why? Why do you think you are not going to have problem? Meanwhile, the first marriage you did, you knew you are not going to stay in that marriage because you were wanting paper. Because you want to, you want to have citizenship. But you, in your mind, right from the day of your first marriage in the Europe, you know you are going to divorce that girl. Why? So why do you think if you go and marry the second one in Africa, you are not going to receive what is called the law of karma? That they will do you back. That they are going to divorce you too. Why do you think so? What goes around comes around. If you have, if you have married someone and you divorce her, and, and you had intention that you knew that you are going to use her for something, and after achieving what you are going to use her for, you will dump her and go to Africa and marry the right wife for you, according to you, what you call right wife. So why do you think that if you bring that right wife to the UK, or to America or to Germany, they are not going to divorce you like as you divorce the, the European. Why do you think that the law of karma is not going to catch up with you? That says that what goes around comes around. What you have done someone else, they will do you. Now they will do you now, you begin to shout. Oh, high rate of divorce. 
All the women we marry from Africa to the Europe, they are now single mothers. All of them are now that you can see. All of them are this. They don't stay in husband's house because they want benefit, because they want that. Why would not they do you back? That's what I'm asking you. Why would you be 60 years in a country where, where, where you have lived for over 20 years, 25 years, and you still want to leave the country and go another country and marry a small girl and bring that you don't know? You don't know how she grew. You don't know her character. You don't know any. You ask your village people to go and find wife for you. Why would they find wife? They have found wife for you now. Now I'm married. Married for Europe. You don't know that marriage is a personal relationship. You don't need somebody to find my, my wife for you. No. Not be you find your papa own. You don't hear me? Now your uncle wants somebody to find wife for you. Not be you find your own. Not be you find your own. You must know who you want to marry, how she is, what she like, and what she dislike. That will inform your decision on marriage. You don't just go because you think you are from Europe, you have money. And uh, when you talk to any guy, any age, they will agree for you that you bring them to Europe. You think when they enter the Europe, they will be submissive. The way you met them in Africa. They just want to use you to come to Europe and better their own family. On your Allah. When they poor those are, that's the one they lament, they lament, they cause single mother, they, they, they cause, they, they cause divorces. Why are you causing them? Everybody have the agenda. Europe an opportunity. They don't use you. They don't use you. One day, if you love what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. All I'm on Polo's channel. Love you guys. Peace out.